so hello guys it's only I know it's only been a week but um I asked them for something early for instead of waiting so the rest I will wait for um so here's I'm gonna tell you the whole backstory real quick before I get on to this figure so basically um Tommy was in charge and they just made um, for their 25th anniversary before they got the license taken away, they made these three figures of, of course, Sonic Tails and our first ever Knuckles. So that and more came in like Metal Sonic, classic Metal Sonic, regular classic Sonic, I guess it was okay, you know, it's cool, um, and Modern Sonic. Translucent Tails, for some reason. I don't know why that should even exist. Please explain to me, but it's pretty freaking cute. Um, Translucent Classic Sonic. I actually like this figure, even though people hate it. Like, I despise of these two. And here's their downsides of their figures that I hate the most. Boom Sonic. Another Boom Sonic, because I got a two-pack. Stupid Boom Knuckles. Boom Tails, and Boom Amy. So those, those, those were their downs, and after a couple of years, after one year, they went, they got their license taken away from them, and shkabooshk. Then, we got Jack Specific to make our stuff, and they made bendy figures, um, spheres, you know. Then, wave one of these plushies down here, and... Again, this doesn't count because this is 2020 madness. Looks like a riot. Okay, back to what I was saying. Then they decided to release articulated figures and they won over the storm. And then, of course, it was like 2.5. But they won over the storm. So then they decided to go ahead and release Wave 2, which concluded another Sonic, but look, different expression. Tails, but same. Instead, we're getting, we got a Knuckles. And then... Of course, we got Metal Sonic as a new introducible character, but we're not reviewing Wave 2 today. We're reviewing a Wave 3 character that came out in November, and he was released along with a re-release of Sonic, Super Sonic, a re-release of Eggman, and of course, who we're reviewing today, Mighty the Armored Freaking Dillo. I was so excited for him to come out, and <laughs> here he is. Mighty the Armadillo, and I actually love this. It's really awesome. So we got 11 points of articulation. I'm so sorry about that. Um, so yeah, let's first take a look at the front. We have got Mighty himself in there with a Sonic Mania box ring. And we also got, of course, Mighty is named Jack Specific, the classic Sonic logo. The classic Sonic games are literally my favorite, and he comes to be my second favorite character. So on the side, we got a classic Sonic art, and it also says articulation, or tar articulated, bleh, and then bleh, 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 a whole bunch of bleh, bleh, and then Sega 60th anniversary logo, and then classic on the side, of course, because this is a classic character, and it... Uh, what? Hold up, wait. What? The fu- I literally can't understand these other languages. Um. Nice. Classic spelt with a K in- in this one, as well. Nice. Okay then. Okay, let's stop talking about that, but before we get to this figure, besides 60th Anniversary, and in Sonic Dash, you can have a chance to win Classic Sonic as a character Unlockable if you get 250 Go Sega coins in Sonic Dash and um, I'll pop up a s picture on the screen when I say it and then also I'll know I'll pop up another picture. I Want it. I Literally want it and these are posted to my Instagram. So if you want to go see it on my Instagram I will probably link it in the description. I don't know yet. I hope I can um Other than that, let's get to the back part and it looks like, again, Mighty has 11 points of articulation. Like the others, it looks like... Tails beats him by the milestone from Wave 1. Tails has 12. 
Sonic has 11, Shadow... Oh, oh, wait, no, no, wait, Tails doesn't beat him. Eggman beats him. 13 points of articulation. Probably because Eggman's just a fat... Again, stop getting off topic of this character. Again, it has the same thing on this side, the classic Sonic logo. Awesome, love it. Um, so the other characters to collect are Super Sonic with 10 rings. You may think this is the same, but I actually checked my Super Sonic, and it, it's different. If you want me to show you, I can, but... Um, then there's Sonic with the Purple Chaos Emerald. Like I said, it's just re-release re of Wave 1. Who cares? Eggman Checkpoint. Eggman just re-release. Who cares again? Let's read the bio, and then I'll show you the Super Sonic. Mighty is a powerful armadillo and great friend to Knuckles and Ray. Just like his name implies, he's in remarkably strong. They pulled a Chaotix reference out of there. That was cool. Alright, now I'm gonna go show you Super Sonic. Okay, so I cannot open this, but... Here's Super Sonic. Yeah, it's different. Definitely different. Awesome. So let's get back to the Mighty Review. Alright, now that I showed you that they're different, which you guys may already know, because there's like hundreds and hundreds of videos out there of this guy right here. Which, he's pretty awesome, but... I'm not going to review him until my birthday comes up, and that will be a birthday review video. So, yeah, and it's saying the same gosh darn thing, but in different languages, because Jack likes to do that. Um, well, let's stop talking, and accessory again, like I said, and let's open this guy. Alright, so now we're going to open him. I've been trying for the past few minutes to, you know, try to get my camera set where I can open him. One second, this camera's really stupid. I forgot to say, I really like the gold ring that they did in the background. <gasps> no, uh, what? No, that was perfect. I like the classic Sonic arm. No, oh well. It's off, it's off, I guess. Um, here is Mighty. Right here, and I'll get him out, so I'll see you guys soon. Oh, okay, so he's really hard to get out, it seems, but here's the ring box we'll be reviewing over at our table over there in a couple of seconds, soon as I get Mighty out. Come on, Mighty. There he is in his awesome look. And this hasn't been the first ever Mighty product, product from Jack Specific. We have gotten a Sphere of Mighty, and we also got a Plush of Mighty. So that's pretty awesome. But we're not re here to review those. I I never have in my past of my channel. Um, but let's review Mighty, actually. And this Mighty pose, well, ever since I've seen this Mighty figure, it seemed... Not targets, but on, like on videos. It seemed pretty familiar to me. Like, this pose was something that I found. I did end up finding the image, but the arms are a different way, so I don't think that really counts. But, yeah, if you want to look up Mighty the Armadillo pose, and if you see this kind of pose, just let me know in the comments down below, because I know it's familiar to a Mighty pose. But other than that, he's got a little ring box. You go, details. Looks like you got a little cup right there, and then... I swear there's something else. No, maybe it's just because he was in the box. But yeah. He's an awesome figure all around. And I'm just going to take a look at this real quick. Can this move? I've seen it move on videos. Yeah, it can move. That's awesome. So this is going to go with the playset. This is going to be epic. Once I review the playset, or mighty. Really? Oh yeah, before I do that, they're, they're the same size. Yeah, understandable, 4-inch, but still. Mm. Doesn't matter. No. Oh, it's a cool figure, still. No matter what. I love Mighty. One of my second favorite Sonic characters. First is, of course, classic Sonic. But, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye.